What is going on everybody? Hey, so today I'm going to be talking about one of the things that kind of builds into this thing that we call this phenomenon, if you will, that we call imposter syndrome. And I get an opportunity to talk to so many business owners throughout my day, everybody from contractors to people that are in the um, professions such as chiropractors and dentists and stuff like this. And I'm always corresponding with all kinds of different business owners to include coaches and mentors and people that have uh, mentorship groups and all kinds of stuff. And I see this pop up every once in a while and people will ask and people have asked me as well, hey, is this program something that you created? And in my case, I'm flattered, quite frankly, when somebody asks me that because I know I have an amazing program that I use to help business owners with, with all kinds of software, tons of videos, just literally millions of dollars worth of content. But I'll get into that in just a little bit or a little bit later. But the bottom line is this. There are so many different businesses out there and many of them feed off of other businesses or many of these business owners have learned from other businesses and they've kind of made that their own. So you can take a business model and you can model that business and you can model that entrepreneur or that business owner and create your own thing out of that. But here's the cool thing. Here's the thing that I tell somebody when they ask me, Wally, what do I say when somebody says, hey, did you create this program yourself or did, are you using it from something else or, or somewhere else or did you buy it or did you get access to it? Like I did. I personally have my own programs, but I've also purchased a lot of uh, content and a lot of stuff that I'm using, like all my videos and everything. I created some of them and you can hear my voice in some of the videos but I didn't create all of them. I don't have time to do all of that. So I paid for somebody else to do that for me and I've paid for some of that content. Now here's the cool thing about that is, when, here's what I tell somebody when they ask me that. I tell them, well, when somebody asks you that, just reply like this. When next time you go to the doctor's office and just if you, if you have to get a procedure done by the doctor or one of your family members has to get the procedure done by one of your doctors or a surgeon or somebody of that nature, then ask the doctor, excuse me, doc, stop. Before you get started, I want to know, did you create this program yourself? Did you create this procedure yourself? Or did you go to school for many years and learn it from somebody else and then bring it back here so that you could do it proficiently? That is a smart doctor. That is a smart question to ask if somebody's asking you if you duplicated what you're doing and are you, are you using somebody else's program in your own way to get the same or better results? You see, because when I personally go out and look for a coach or look for somebody to help me in some part of my business, I don't look for somebody who basically, who necessarily created something themselves a couple weeks or maybe even a couple years ago. I look for somebody and I don't care when it was created. What I look for is in any business that I'm going to do business, anybody I'm going to do business with, I look for a trend of results. I look for what they have done for other people. I can care less how much money they make. I can care less what kind of car they drive, what kind of house they live in, any of that kind of stuff. That's all. Those are all personal choices based on their level of resources. What I care about and I care about the most is what results do they get for their clients and for their customers. That's what I want to know. I want to see that track record. I could care less about how many likes they have on Facebook or how many followers they have on Instagram. None of that makes a darn bit of difference because people can buy that stuff these days. What you can't buy is true results and true, not just written testimonies. I also look for video testimony for people before I do business with somebody. And I ask around and I ask a bunch of other people. What are they doing? What, you know, what did they do for you? What did working with this person do for you? If they're, I just had a conversation with an HVAC company yesterday and this individual was referred to me because he needs my help and wants my help in his business. But oh, by the way, this guy is conducting business in such a way that I want him to come service my AC and my house because of the way he does business. And that's important to me because he was referred by somebody else. Not only, actually he was referred to me as a client, but I'm gonna take him on as a client. I'm gonna take him on, I'm gonna be his customer as well. 
So he's going to be my customer. I'm going to be his customer. It's going to work out great. But my point is this. Here's another way to look at it. What are some of the best business models out there today? They're franchises. They are business models that were created by somebody else. They have a track record of being in business for a very long time. They have a track record of serving the customer the way they want to be served. They have a track record of training their their franchisees and the franchisees employees and managers and so on and so forth. They have a track record. They are a proven system that's already in place. So why would you be concerned if somebody asks you, is this program yours or not? Now, if it is great and, and that's fine, but you'll find that the people that start their own programs, they have a hard time getting that going years and years and years. Why? Because there's a lack of trust there. Even if they do have two, three, four, maybe 10 testimonies, there's there's small beans compared to the testimonies of a proven system that you adopt yourself into your own business, you model that, you put your own personality into it, and then you go out and get the results that that system and that program has gotten for 10, 20, 30 years, or however long. And it's backed by all of the different, just the hundreds of testimonies in you know wherever, depending on the industry, depending on where it is. For instance, mine, where I use uh, a, a coaching program that I started to, I, I hired coaches and I started building my own coaching program because I hired a coach to teach me how to build a coaching program, how to start building courses. I got into a couple masterminds where course creation is the, is the basically what they do. And I started building it and I, and I was just putting hours and hours and tons of money and all this time into building these courses. And then I stumbled upon somebody who already had everything that I absolutely love and and could use already in place. So I just bought into that system. And now I have my own coaching business. Everything is mine. I I don't pay royalties to anybody. It's whatever I do, all the business I get, everybody that I help, all of that is, is all mine and my family's. And then, of course, I give a lot, too. But... All of that is, is nobody can take that from me. Nobody can take that knowledge from me. Nobody can take any of that from me. And I still have access to all of those videos that can help me get the best results possible for business owners who choose to work with me. And it saves me so much time. It saved me so much money. And it's way better than anything I could have personally created because it is built from a system of 20 years of data and improving and getting better and getting better. In fact, we just got even better with our Profit Acceleration Software 2.0, which I personally had input into. So I do have personal input into this system and I still have input. We're still um, adding stuff to it and we have other programs coming up that we're adding to it. In fact, I'm at the point now where I'm hiring, not hiring, but bringing on and training new coaches at my own expense putting the money in to get these coaches trained, get their website developed, get all of their uh, collateral, their marketing collateral developed, all that stuff, and paying for that because I need the help with more coaches. I need more coaches to serve the clients that I'm personally getting because of working with this organization and getting, you know, using their strategies and, and improving upon their strategies to get more clients so that I can serve my customers and my clients that much better. So if somebody asks you and you have a program, you have a franchise or you have some sort of a system that you have developed that was created by somebody else, it is yours. Own it. Just like the surgeon went to school for eight, 10 years and did an internship for a couple of years to learn skills that somebody else developed and created. They're mastering those skills and they're making they're, they're they're adding value to other people and they're helping other people as a result of that franchises are the same thing hvac none of these guys most of these guys didn't create all of their own um strategies and techniques they learned them in school and then they bring that back to the field and they learn how to do all that all right so that's all i got for you guys today uh if you want to i want to invite those of you who are business owners who are checking this out Go check out Business Owner Growth on Facebook and the Business Owner Growth Podcast, where a lot of these audios that I'm doing live 
will be posted over there, but also I'm, I'm also posting exclusive audio and video over there, or audio on the podcast, specifically for Business Owner Growth Podcast. Find it on your favorite podcast player, or I'll put it in the link down below as well. All right, guys, take care. I'm out, and have an amazing day. Own your business. Be proud of it, regardless of where you got the information from, to do what it is that you do in business. All right.